Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So <laughs> I'm sure you guys can see that I can barely contain my excitement right now. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Okay, this is what we are focusing on today. I finally got a chance to review the Adept Cosmetics Heather Austin palette. Y'all, it is so... I can't, I can't. I'm not gonna give it away. I'm smiling, I'm giving it away. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm losing my words, Barbara, focus. Y'all, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, how the intro works because I have no words. Let's get into this eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I could not wait to do this review. I missed the first round of the pre-orders for this palette. And as soon as I saw there was gonna be a second round, I jumped on it. So I actually got this in a couple of weeks ago, I think, or who knows how long it'll be by the time this goes up. Today we're talking about the Adept Cosmetics collaboration with Heather Austin. Now this is my first time ever buying anything from the brand. So I wasn't, I don't know what the quality's like. I honestly picked it up just because of the color story because it kind of gives me subculture vibes and y'all know my love of subcultures. So that was my main reason for picking it up. On the website, it is showing that it will be returning. So it is available for pre-order again and it will, I think it says ships, yeah, late May. They say if we can ship it sooner, then they will says all shimmers require a good primer to avoid any eyeshadow fallout. Please be aware of this before purchasing and keep your palette in a cool, dry place. There's a particular note about one shade. It says the shade Scrubs is a gel cream mixture, not a typical powder eyeshadow and may move around when in transit or when you touch it, which is normal. So this palette is $56. So pretty expensive. And like I said, I'm trying to get more into indie palettes and indie makeup in general this year. It says that the palette can stain for fair to medium skin tones. And this is some new packaging. I don't know what the other stuff was like before. So yeah, it also says that each shade is a rem removable magnetic pan. So that's kind of cool. There is four mattes three multi-chromes. Y'all know that's why I got this palette, right? Um, one multi-chrome topper and four shimmers. So let me show you what it looks like if you have not seen it. First of all, can we talk about the packaging for the shipping? This box, very hard, not mashed or anything like that. And I'm pretty sure they even put like fragile on the outside so that it didn't come in smashed. Take notes, Sephora. Um, absolutely love that it came with this foam insert and I just love this also had I think a clear like sticky film on it that I pulled off already because y'all know I had to look at this palette it did not stay in the box I only kept the box to show you how well it's packaged so you actually have a little trouble getting it out of this foam insert which I don't mind because again security of my baby and so this is what the packaging looks like it's like a faux leather which i really like and i like this color too and then this is the inside of it tell me that's not subculture did i just stick my finger no <laughs> uh tell me this is not subculture like what i mean of course not the blue but like these right here giving me the vibes these over here and i just think it is so pretty so this is the one that they were talking about that is going to move around a bit. Um, but mine looks okay. I think you can see, is that a little bubble? Yeah, it's like a little bubble. Um, and I wanna try to show you guys the, you see the shifts, you see it already. So that shade, when I put it straight to you, it looks like it's this blue, but then as you shift it, it looks purple. I love it. So let's go ahead and do swatches. First shade is video chat. Does it describe what each one is? No. So I guess we will figure it out as I swatch them. So this is the first shade video chat. 
Ooh, this feels so creamy. This is a duochrome. Oh, I always wondered. Okay, kind of see the shift there. Maybe I should hold my arm this way. So yeah, this is like an orange to green to gold shift. Then we have Passport, which I think is the multi-chrome topper shade, which I will put right here. Definitely a topper. So that's what that looks like there. I feel like these kind of come off looking a little blurry on camera just because of how high shine. Then they have So Excited, which looks like just a ship. I say it looks like just a shimmer, but that looks like a multi-chrome too. I hope you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see it. Then next we have 0603, and I don't know anything behind the names and the colors and all that stuff. I did not care. I just wanted the palette. That is that shade there. So the next shade is a matte and that is Magnolia. You all know I love shades like that and I am not pushing hard. So these are just like really good pigment pigment still on my finger. Then Mythology. Oh, that's pretty too. Then we have PA02. Gorgeous shade. Then Atlas, which of course you need kind of like a transition matte brown. Let's swatch that one again. So that'll be perfect for the crease to set up whatever look you're gonna do. Then we have the shade Scrubs, which is the one that had the note on the website. It does feel softer. Oh, y'all know I wanna put that on my eyes, right? Definitely a multi-chrome. And then I might have to go back to the top of my arm. We have Hey Y'all. So that looks like just a standard kind of shimmer, not a multi-chrome. Then Austin kind of looks like it might be a topper. Yes, definitely a topper. I don't love shades like this. Let's put this over here. Oh, but it's, pr it's pretty because it's like a green. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's one of those shades that you definitely need to use with a glitter glue. These swatches are crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then the last one, I already know I love it, is Smith, which we'll put that down here. Yep, my kind of, those are the perfect multi-chromes to me. So those are all the shades right there. Hope you guys can see that. I got that one there at the top. So gorgeous shades, love this color story. So I think I'm gonna try to do three looks. I'm probably gonna kick myself for that, especially considering that she said that these do stain. That might be a little hard, but I really wanna do a matte look with that green, that kind of pea green uh, mythology shade. And then I want to use one of just the regular shimmers and then go into a multi-chrome look and finish there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this off with the shade Atlas. And I like that this mirror folds all the way back so I don't have to worry about blinding you. So we're gonna start with Atlas and I'm just gonna put that in the crease. We're gonna use that to set up, oh, how about you put some primer? I'm gonna go in with Atlas and this, I'm not setting Barbara. Look, I am so excited. <laughs> Leave that sitting on my eye and it's about to dry down already. So definitely like the undertone of this. This kind of shade would be one of those shades that I just put in my crease and go. So love that that is in here. And I do feel like as I build it up, it's getting deeper but you can blend it out and make it lighter. So definitely a great shade to have in this palette with it being so colorful. I'm gonna go in with Magnolia, which is that, I think this brush might be too small, but we'll see. Um, go in with Magnolia, which is the deep green. Oh, that is pretty. 
Look how pigmented that is laying down. I'm gonna put this in my crease. These colors are laying down and they're staying where you put them. Is that a good thing? I personally think it is, but we need to see if they will blend because you can't not blend your eyeshadow. I mean, you can do what you want, but you know it's blending out and i love the pigmentation it's not losing the color of the shadow like this looks like what it looks like in the pan you know how sometimes you get shadows like this and you start blending them out and then they start looking deeper or turning a little gray that is not happening here i'm not getting any fallout yet but you know what we don't want to wait till we do so i'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of my rcma powder just to help. I'm going to take my blending brush and go back in with Atlas around the edges of that and just try to blend that out some. And I'm just really building up where the colors intersect. But these are blending well together and I'm not losing that green, which I love. All right, so I'm gonna go in and I'm just going to cut my crease a little tiny bit. I probably could use concealer, but I think we'll be okay with this. And I really wanna use that green multi-chrome, but stick to what you said, Barbara. So we're gonna go in with Mythology and just pack that on the lid. Look at that color. I don't play with a lot of shades like this, so the only thing I can reference that I have used similar and I felt like was a bust for me was the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome Palette. It did not have this payoff. And I want to say I think I used a white base when I, te when I tested that one, so look at that. You know what, just because I have to, I can't do this look without doing it. I'm gonna put a little bit of that multi-chrome shade to blend into the green. I'm just wiping my brush off and I'm gonna use the same brush. I think it'll pick up. Maybe I should use my finger. It is definitely picking up. I can, yeah, I can see it. It blends really well, but then I feel like, can you see it right there? You can see the shift. I'm gonna try with my finger. And y'all please ignore, I think I still have lash glue from like, I cannot get this off and I don't know what lash glue it was cause I don't think I wanna use it again. But look at how pretty that is. It almost blends perfectly into the matte shade but I'm gonna put the matte shade over it just a tiny bit because of the shift. And I don't want it to be, it's gonna be, a, it looks like it's gonna be a harsh line. I'm just trying to blend those two together as much as I can, but it's gonna be a little line of demarcation because of when I turn my head. That is so pretty. And I'm glad I did it. Okay, I'm gonna try to build up Magnolia a little bit more on top of the multi-chrome just to give a little more dimension and I really want this to be smoky you know that color is just laying down and it's so true to color why can't every brand do this see I don't even feel like normally shades if I try to do something like this I feel like I need a black I don't feel like I need that right now that is so pretty I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna take this same brush, I'm gonna wipe it off on my color switch, and I'm gonna try to build up Atlas. Just, whoa, right around the edge. Just to soften that up, and then I'll go back in with my bigger blending brush. I probably, I kind of feel like I need an in-between shade, but 
I really don't want to lose that green and I think this is so pretty. So we're going to stop there with this one. What do I want to put on my inner corner? I kind of want to put a tiny, tiny bit of glitter glue on the inner corner and see if I can get one of those topper shades to really pop. I hope I don't regret this. So I'm taking my refer number 23 and I'm going to go in with the shade Austin right here. Whoa, I do not want that in my eye. That is a lot brighter than I thought it was going to be. But see, as I'm stretching it out, it does look like it has a little bit of green in it. Yeah, that was a good pick. Definitely a good pick. And I'm trying to just blend it lightly into the mat. Yeah, I have another brush I'm going to use, a smaller brush, and I'm just going to run that green magnolia along my bottom lash line I normally don't do my bottom lash line I just remembered too late when I'm doing a lot of looks I don't do this and then we're gonna put the multi chrome because I have to if it picks up on this brush so that is it for the first look this is so pretty all right, so we are ready for the next look and I'm gonna lean more into the purple kind of gray shade. So I'm gonna start off with Atlas, but then we're gonna go into this shade right here. Barbara, stuck my nail in it. Um, PA02, and then I'm gonna use this shade up here, 0603. So let's see how these more i would say none of these shades are standard but it's kind of more of like your regular matte and shimmer shades look so starting off with atlas in the crease again i think this shade is perfect to set up any of the looks in here very very smart beautiful choice I'm just going to dip into PA02, this gorgeous kind of eggplant purple, and start building that up. But we're going to bring that one a little further in than we did with the green on the other eye. But again, the shade is laying down true to color, and it is beautiful. Ooh, do I want to do a halo? Let's do a halo. I don't do those often. So we're just going to blend that up into the crease a little bit. Not having any fallout yet. Y'all, this shade is so pretty. I love when purples stay purple. And it's just blending out. So gorgeous. Now see this, the way this is set up is making me really want to go into that scrub shade, but I want to be fair. I'm going to go in with my 02 brush. I've wiped it off. Oh wait, I want to cut my crease a little bit. I don't think you have to do that, but I just want to make sure that the color doesn't get lost. Oh, I feel like this is probably going to pick up better with my finger. I wonder if that's with all the shades in here. I feel like this should pick up. Let me try the brush I did my cut crease with. I feel like this should pick up with a brush. No, this is a pretty flaky shade. Well, I wonder what shades are like the regular. Yeah, that's picking up a little better, but it makes me wonder like what shades are just the regular shimmers because I don't feel like that's a regular shimmer. It's pretty though. All right, going in with my finger. I feel like this shade would have benefited from the Pat McGrath Intensifies Wand. It's a pretty shade. I guess I just expected, I'm getting 
no fallout but i guess i just expected i don't know what i expected why do you have an expectation with the first time you use something barbara i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna take a little bit of hay y'all and just put that on the outer parts to kind of help it blend into the purple but again these shades are all moving around a little bit and leaving a bit of an indentation so they look ooh yes Okay, now this one, it seems like it's packing a little more punch and you can definitely see the differentiation in the colors, which I wasn't sure about, but yes. Ooh, yes, that is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go back with the purple and just lightly pat over that so that it stays blended that is so pretty look at that shade look at those shifts mmm I like this look I'm not even done but I already know I like it all right smaller brush bottom lash line I pretty much do the same thing every time so you already know what's coming pencil brush with the purple shade one day I'm gonna get back into doing liner on my bottom lash line, but I just love how this looks. And then I'm gonna go in with Hey Y'all. Oh wee, that literally, with this small brush, is like putting a dent in the shadow. You gotta be careful, they are really soft. I feel like it's picking up a little bit. We're gonna go in with Passport, since we have such a bright, inner corner highlight on this one, we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna take my glitter glue, a tiny bit here. Oh, this eye look is so pretty. These shadows, even though they're, I feel like it's weird because I feel like they're a little hard to work with in the pan, the way they're moving around. Like look at all the divots and everything in there just for me using this smaller brush, but I don't know. I feel like putting them on my eye, like this is so easy. I do have some fallout from the Hey All shade, trying to put that here. I'm going to go in with Passport, the other topper shade, and put that in the inner corner. Pretty! Yup, I already knew. I see that's still looking a little greenish like that other side, but in the pan, that's the one we're playing with. Interesting. Cause right now it looks like I have green on my inner. That's not the same shade. Let me put those two together on my fingers so you can see. They definitely look different on my fingers. This is Austin, this is Passport. Passport at the top, Austin at the bottom. But for some reason, I'm getting a little green. You know, we'll balance it out like that. So there you go, that is the second look. I'm going to, I wanna do liner and lashes and all that stuff, but then I gotta take it all off. I think we're going to stop there, guys. I want to do the full thing, but I need to get this other look done because I'm still just so anxious to play. So you get an idea of what the shades look like. You see how they work. I did have a little bit of fallout from one of those shades. But overall, look at the shine on that. This, I'm gonna wear again. I'm gonna wear both of these again, but I can't wait to wear this one. I'd probably darken it up with some black just because I'm extra, but I love it. Okay, <laughs> I wanna finish and do everything, but I got one more look. So I'm gonna take this off. We're gonna finish with one final look and I'm gonna give y'all my thoughts as if you don't know them already. I'm going to stick with Atlas because I have no idea what let me not lie. I have an idea of what I want to do, but I may change my mind. So I went ahead and cleaned my brushes with my Cinema Secrets just to make sure there was no residual colors. 
so I have to use scrubs. I feel like that is the star of this palette for me anyway. Like, how does that not belong all over my lid? I'm gonna try not to mess up my finger and I'm gonna use this. I don't wanna waste any products. So I do feel like I need to set this up with the purple. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush. This is the refer number 12 and I'm going to start by just packing that on the outer V. Maybe I should have used that small brush I was using earlier. But I do want this to be pretty heavy. I'm probably gonna grab a black, maybe. And I'm just really going in and building this up as dark as I can get it. If I don't need to go into the black, that would be great. I'm just gonna go in with this on my lid. I did not add any extra glitter glue. I don't feel like you need to for this one because it does feel wet already and it's not flaky. Look at that. Yeah, that just had to have its own moment and I wanted it on both eyes. I do wanna see if this shade is going to work with any of my brushes. So I'm gonna take my flat brush. I never know what brushes you're supposed to use with stuff. So I always just, oh yeah, that's picking it up. I always just revert to using my finger. But this one is working. Look at how that's like cutting my crease. Y'all look at this shade. I don't think I've ever done a shade like this all over my lid. And you see how when it turned, it almost looks exactly like the shade, um, I can't think of the names, PA02, like it looks almost like they belong together. Ooh, I never use multi-crumbs on my eyes. I don't know why. So silly. I just wanna blend that to make the edge not so harsh. But look how easy that was to set up together. Like, I just can't stop staring at it. I'm gonna go in, let's try how Scrubs applies with a brush by itself first. Yeah, see that's going on perfect by itself. So I am still going to use my finger to intensify it, but I just really wanted to see if the brush would be able to pick it up and it does. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. This is gonna be my final look. I love how these colors go together because it almost looks like I have just one shade on that changes as it gets closer to the inner corner. I go back in with my finger. I really think other than like the green yellow, this is like my favorite shade of multi-chrome. I don't wanna run out of this shade. And honestly, I probably have it in other palettes. I'm just being extra. But the formula of this one, because it is that kind of almost like a cream it just i feel like it sets it apart from the other pigments that i have that are powders and then go back in with atlas around the edge of both i'm just going to keep singing the praises of this atlas shade because i feel like it almost kind of like changes to fit whatever you're putting with it i feel like it went a little more green when I had the green look on and now it's kind of pulling a little more warm to go with the purple like I feel like this looks so sophisticated but I'm really not working hard at all just taking my time and placing the color where I want it <laughs> looking at my monitor it looks so good and of course, I'm gonna take a smaller pencil brush and go back with the purple. And I have no fallout with this, which I did not expect to have because that shade is like a cream. I love when they have a black base like this because I just feel like it shows so much better what do I want to put on my inner corner is the question because I want something that's going to pop. It's picking up, but I kind of wish it showed more. I'm going to need to go in with one of those crumbly shades. 
I'm going to just use So Excited, which is more of a kind of silvery taupe. These are all picking up like they are. Yeah, that's pretty. It does almost kind of look purple. Let me spray my brush. Oh, there we go. Do I want some black? I think this is dark enough. I'm just being extra. So we're gonna go ahead and stop there. I'm gonna get my liner on. I'm definitely putting on some lashes with this one. And then I will come back and give you guys my final thoughts. Lashes always take me forever, but I have to say it was worth it. Y'all look at this. Like, I have no words. I have no words at all. And I think these lashes go with this look perfectly because they add a little bit of flair, but they're not too big. So it doesn't take away from the eyeshadow. These are the House of Lashes Iconic Mini. These are, I think the collaboration, like the Sephora, got these during the Sephora sale. I did have some issues. These are a thicker band and I do not think they're easier to put on. So maybe again, that's just me being a beginner, but whatever. We're not here about lashes. We're here about this eyeshadow. This palette is absolutely amazing. If you love this color story, if you love super metallic foiled, if you want to play with some multi-chromes, I still haven't gotten here yet. Like this shade right here, I can already see how I would pair it because I would put this green to get into that shift. Anyway, I still, this is going upstairs with me. I have no words. This palette is absolutely amazing. You can still get it pre-order. So please, if you are interested, it does take a while to come in, but I promise it is so worth it. I have no, I'm gonna run some errands, but like I have nothing to do today. I'm gonna just walk around my house staring at my eyeshadow. But anyway, that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have no idea how long the video is gonna be. Hopefully not too long, but yes. Adept Cosmetics, Heather Austin palette grab yours. I promise it is worth it. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. If you love this look, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know if you're going to pick yours up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.